and I saw someone else pouring the broth into the noodles, and I felt so much shame. Like the number one thing I'm excited about. It looks you really all be on the, the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Oh no. Hello. Uh, welcome to our first ever mukbang stream, uh, presented to you by Grubhub today. So, do you guys want to show what you guys are eating? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Vincent, you got something else on the smoothie? <laughs> Wait, uh, Vincent, how come your smoothie is already half drank, man? I got fish. Was it just um, that delicious? Oh. I, I couldn't help there's myself. fish and there's chips. Or stop myself. Wait, do you have food too, Vincent? So Vincent's on a diet or something. He just has two smoothies. Wow. <laughs> Health bizarre, icon. Dude. Health icon. This is you my get dinner. Two, is, I got I got a variety of dim sum. Look, I can't even I can't even hold all the dim sum, man. Oh my this, god, it's incredible. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to name specific places, but usually I like to eat relatively healthy. So no like pasta, no fried foods. Um, just try to eat like meat and vegetable type stuff. So sushi, dim sum's good. Um, all right, sir, and you're up next. <clears throat> I got this from a place called Anchor. Which was really close to the first TSM house, actually, near the beach. Oh, I know that place. I remember going to this place with, like, Turtle and Darius and everyone back in the day. So when I saw it on Grohub, I was like, oh, I want to try this again. Right now, I really like ramen, but I think I didn't eat ramen for, like, two years or something. Because we had it way too much back in the day. So it kind of depends on my on my mood. I remember the first time you bought takeout ramen and the soup oh, no. and the noodles <laughs> came separately. And Soren didn't know that you were supposed to add the soup and the noodles together. So he just drank the soup and ate the noodles and he wasn't into it. <laughs> and like, the noodles were so sticky. They were like sticking together. I was like, this is just awful. And I saw someone else pouring the broth into the noodles and I felt so much shame. Dude, I feel like this is a feeling that you can only get from like if you've ordered delivery a lot. But do you guys ever order from a place a bunch and then see it in real life and it feels weird to see it in real life? Yeah, when like I'm in only, car in your I'm mind like, it only exists. Oh, it's that place. Yeah, exactly. In your mind, you're like, that doesn't make that. sense. It only exists online. I feel like that's only relatable for, <laughs> for like <laughs> really gamers. basement dwelling gamers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually know a lot of good places because I order delivery all the time, and there's this one that I've been ordering from lately all the time called Jane Anarka. It's like a pasta place. Actually, really, really good. Probably the best pasta I've had recently, and it's pretty cheap too. Vincent Vincent says he doesn't like to play games he's bad at. Oh, oh, <laughs> what the? Double up already being toxic. Yeah. Actually, that would make sense. I've seen your Doki win rate. It's a <laughs> uh, worrying trend. <laughs> Next topic. I have a, a list of conversation starters, so let me just go down that Why list. do we need any conversation starters? This is flowing so well. <laughs> we are conversing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, how do you think our new roster is gonna compete with Z9? I guess we're gonna get screwed on. <laughs> oh no, it's just gonna be what's so oh, one sided no. and embarrassing. Oh. What do you think of the Team Liquid new roster, Peter? The tactical on it. We have no chance, guys. It's a it's a I've already coach given up. upgrade and an ADK upgrade. So I know they've upgraded everywhere. Probably higher than ninth. As long as you have a good roster where the, the players can mechanically play well, it's really just about teamwork. Because uh, even oh, average players mechanically can shine on good teams. I joined TSM during quarantine, so maybe quarantine was the best thing to ever happen to me. That's possible. True. We could also get 10th place, so it could be the worst thing that ever happened <laughs> to me. We don't know yet. I mean, you know, 10th isn't too far from 9th, right? So you're already used to it being... Yeah, I guess it, it doesn't really matter if TSM doesn't make worlds for the third year in a row. No, I'm just oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Soren, how's your quarantine been? It's just a uh, weird not ever leaving the house, and especially these things that kind of help uh, keep you sane, like going to the gym, and and I think it would help me a lot going, like traveling to the <laughs> office every day. But now it's just kind of you wake up. You scream from your bedroom, you stay in your bedroom, you play solo in your bedroom. So there was definitely an adjustment period. Uh, you eat Grubhub in your bedroom. Yeah. Grubhub has been pretty helpful. That is really helpful though, because obviously when you're quarantined, you don't want to unnecessarily interact with people. 
It's really hard to be serious when certain people in this call aren't serious. I'm actually really excited for the facility, if that's going to be finished. It looks really, really nice, and True. it'll be really cool to work from there. That's probably the most thing, like the number one thing I'm excited about. Oh, I'm really looking forward to spending quality time with my good friends. <clears throat> Me too. That's what I'm looking forward to. Hopefully, we can be hanging out at the facility if it's ready closer, closer to scrims. But yeah, oh Vincent, you actually haven't toured the facility at all. So you toured it before it was under construction. And I took I took Peter there a couple yesterday actually. You're gonna be wow. You all really be on the floor. Pictures. Even the dumbbells have TSM logos on them. <laughs> wow. A tasteful addition to the dumbbells. When you sit down say. on the toilet, the door will have a TSM logo shining at you as well. There's I think action. I think the toilet seats should be a TSM logo, personally. You know, that's probably the hardest thing about quarantine. Not being able to see you guys in person. That's why Aww. you guys uh, have these calls every day. Every day, we're on video really. call. We are we video calling together. and ordering Grubhub. And I'm like, what did you get on Grubhub? And then we talk. My favorite thing about Grubhub is how convenient it is to order. Save some time, save some money. It's really important that uh, I can just play as much as possible. So it's always great to have Grubhub around. That's so nice. What Same. if we want a camping trip? We should go on a camping trip. I just thought of it. We should have a land party. We should bring Grubhub and then go on a camping trip. Okay. And, and sleep in bunk beds together for Team Bonnie. Here's not all I, th I think Kevin. I remember there was there was a there was a tournament where Kevin and Soren like roomed together, <laughs> oh, and because they were both the late, finals. they were they were actually banned from ever rooming together again no, after I, that. Yeah. I told. I Kevin takes forty minutes showers by the way on game day. You guys would always blame each other for being late. So you <laughs> yeah, banned from being. <laughs> Yeah, I used to oh, travel man. with the team, and I was the team manager at the time. So I would t purposely tell Soren and Kevin the wrong time, just so they'd be like earlier. And I tell everyone else, say, like, "Don't tell them the right time." I know. And then when I was on time, it was like, "Yeah, <laughs> we just gave you an early time." <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can't really argue with that. Hey, Soren, do you remember when we went to Korea and there were so many mosquitoes in season four, season five? <laughs> yeah, Turtle got a bite on like his eyelid. Yeah, Turtle got a so mosquito then, bite so on his eyelid. So he couldn't sleep, so we just walked out on the streets at like 4am. And we went to the 7-Eleven to get this mosquito cream. But they didn't they didn't sell it, I think, but the lady who was at the counter had it. So she pulled some out of her purse and put it on Turtle's eyeball and like... Yeah. I think that was the same bootcamp where we scrimmed. And then Darius fell asleep in Champion Select because he was so tired, but he was like, no, I can play one more scrim, it's okay. And then, all right, Darius, ban Kalen, and he's just sleeping <laughs> in his chair. And we're like, I think we gotta cancel scrims, guys. That is we're scrimming so like funny, CJ dude. or something. What was your favorite match together from Season 6 and 7 TSM? Mine was uh, our group stage against Samsung. That was pretty fun. The one where we lost or won? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Both. Oh no. No, uh, mine was personally mine was the season six uh, playoffs against C9 game four. Was that the game four too? There was some game where uh, we're we're playing. I was playing Vladimir against Jensen's Talia. That was. And then Dennis four. and I came up with the 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 cheese. Like Dennis where... doing the red buff and then coming around and flanking him on the Raptors. We'd never done it before, we'd never talked about it before, but uh, we just came up with it on the spot and we got the kill. Because Talia always hard pushed the wave and then killed the enemy small raptors to get level 2. Mm -hmm. And that just felt so good. Then I remember I played like shit for the rest of the game, but <laughs> it was really fun. Because we got the cheese level 1. I guess it'd be the Mortals match in 2017, it was finals. Uh, we had our final game, I think we're down like a lot of gold. Maybe like 10k or something, and then we came back. Oh, when Cody, Cody son like got caught, chain caught. Yeah, I think Cody got caught, and then Pope Belter got caught, and then Cody got caught again. So that was, that was a really crazy match. I I would have for sure like thought we would have lost that game, but we ended up coming back. So it was really crazy. Bio Daddy. My favorite game is 
Is our game at World against IG, where they pick Kayla and Jenna, and they like kill her next to Sun Minute 15? Wait, that was WE, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, it was WE. It was, it was yeah. WE. Yeah, they, we, we had three losing lanes. They, I've it's like, Jason, never gotten shit on that hard before. Yeah, that was disgusting. Three losing lanes and just Kaylin Jen is pushing every turret. And they had Rumble, so if you try to trade turrets, he's just ulting the waves and Kay Jenna is killing every tower. Oh man. Yeah. We went to a team dinner with the old TSM lineup. And I saw Peter outside the restaurant and he didn't recognize me. He got like spooked. Well, you started talking to like, hey, and he's like, I, actually, I, ah! I was like, huh. bro, I don't have anything. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. That's all the time we have today. Um, if you guys really enjoyed this, make sure to follow us on social media. Check out Grubhub. Stay safe during the quarantine with some contact-free delivery. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time.